What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today guys, I want to guide you through this week's secret triumph from the Menagerie's final boss. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this week the final boss within the Menagerie is Paguri or Pagari, if that's how it's pronounced, I'm not actually sure to be honest with you guys. But with every week and every new boss comes a triumph for defeating said boss, but there are also secret triumphs too if you defeat them in a certain way. So if you want to earn an additional 500 Imperials or a few extra runes if you've already fully upgraded your Chalice of Opulence, follow this simple guide into getting that loot. Okay, so when you enter this encounter, you will recognize the room from a few other encounters that take place here. Well, within this room, there are three Vex plates, one left, one center, and one right. To get the secret triumph, you have to lure the boss to each plate. You lure him by capturing the plate by standing on it. The first encounter, as far as I know, always starts with the center plate lighting up first. Correct me if I'm wrong about this, but it seems to be the way for me so far. So once you have captured this first plate, the boss will then spawn right in front of you. Here you need to do damage to him, but do not kill him. Kill him I believe will void the secret triumph. Again, correct me if I'm wrong here, but the triumph does state you need to lure him to each plate. So do damage to him, but do not kill him. He will then teleport back into his shield. On the second rotation, you will notice two plates will light up, and these can be random. Both plates you will have to capture, but you need to make sure that you lure him to a side which he hasn't been lured to already. So if the center plate lights back up for you, along with the left plate, make sure you capture center first. Then move onto the left, meaning you will lure him to the left. Then do damage to him, but do not kill him. Like I said, just do damage to him, but leave him and enough health to make sure you can definitely kill him on that third rotation. But like I said, on the second rotation, two plates will light up. It could be center again, it could be left and right, it could be center right, it could be center left. But if on the first rotation, the center pad lit up for you, make sure that's the first pad you capture on that second rotation, meaning the second plate you capture, he hasn't been lured to already. So once you've done damage to him on the second rotation, like I said, do not kill him, just leave him on a speck of health so you can kill him easily on the third rotation. So the third rotation, three pads will light up. Here guys, you need to lure him to the pad or plate in which he hasn't been lured to already, just like uh, rotation two. In my case, we had to lure him to the center pad first and then the left pad second. So on the third rotation, we had to lure him to the right pad. So on the third rotation, we caught left first, then center and caught the right pad third, which was the pad he hadn't been lured to already. Once we caught the third pad, we killed him and got our triumphs and it really is as simple as that. So to put it into simple man's terms, you have to lure the boss to each plate then kill him. There are three plates, centre, left and right. First rotation, one plate lights up. Capture it, lure him in and do damage. Second rotation, two plates will light up. Make sure the plate you capture last isn't the plate you captured on that first rotation. So if on the first rotation the centre plate lights up for you, and on the second rotation the centre and left lights up for you, capture the centre plate first. Then moves on to the left plate or right plate depending on where that is. Third rotation, all three plates will light up. Make sure the final plate you capture isn't one you've captured in the first two rotations. And it really is as simple as that. You need to lure him to a different plate on all three rotations. Kill him, get them triumphs, get them appeals, get them rooms, and you are done, guys. A little sweet but simple guide to help you out getting this secret triumph. And on that note, guys, I am out. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really does help me out. If you are new around here and this is what you want to see more of, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, I upload it can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.